Hey YouTubers, so in lesson 11, we're going to do a loft, basically a very simple loft, and uh, what this entails is starting with two sketches, and in this case we're going to take a square, and then make a smaller square, and loft it. And then, just to do it, we'll shell it out at the end. All right, so let's go to 2D Sketch. And we're going to sketch on the, yeah, let's change it up. We'll sketch on the XZ plane this time. We'll draw something that vaguely resembles a building. So, um, a lot of times I have shown the two-point rectangle just to get you familiar with using the constraints. Um, in this case, we're going to make life simpler. We're going to go straight to the two-point center. And hopefully you all are familiar with this one. This is probably, honestly, the best one to use. Um, you want to put that basically in the center of your datums and draw out. And the nice thing about this is it already makes a bunch of assumptions for you. So um, we need only dimension the outside. And I'll make this two. And the other guy is going to be two as well. All right, so there's our first sketch, and basically it's centered, symmetrical. We're all good. We don't have to do all the other stuff. All right, now I'm going to create a offset plane. All right, so that's under the plane menu, and there it is right there at the top, offset from plane. It's kind of important... Uh, YouTubers out there that are watching this that you get familiar with all the different ways to create planes. Um, this software, unlike Pro-E, um, in my opinion, is a little weak in the assembly department. And um, you've got to really learn how to use your planes passing through points and uh, edges and things like that so that you can assemble better. All right, so... We are going to create an offset plane, and we use the XZ plane. So I'm going to go up, uh, let's, let's be reckless, let's go up 50, see how that looks. There it is, way up there. All right, it's going to be a skyscraper or something. So then we need to go back to our start 2D sketch. And select our plane. And we're going to use that same rectangle, which is already here, but in just case you can't find it, remember it's, it's pretty much the third one down. We're going to sketch it on this. And I think we'll make it one and a half. So I said we we're going to make a skyscraper, but I guess if we're going to shell it out, it's not going to be a skyscraper. All right, so finish the sketch, and there we have our two sketches. Now we can go into loft, and basically, you look down in the left corner here, select a sketch. There's one of them. Select a sketch. There's the other one. And boom, just like that. Pretty easy, huh? If we wanted to make just a surface, we could click on that. But in this case, we're going to do the solid output. You could also use this to remove material. So uh, keep that in mind. Click OK. 
And now we'll go ahead and uh, shell it out. So ask to remove surfaces. Why not do the top? Let's see if we can get this to grab the bottom without having to flip this thing over. It just lit up and now it doesn't want to. Um, all right. So we got that shelled. 0 0.1 inches looks pretty good. We'll just take the default and there you go. We have us a nice, um, well, this would be uh, square tubing if it wasn't for it was different sizes. Um, but you can kind of see the power of the loft and uh, some of the cool things you can do with it. Uh, obviously, in this case, um, if we did want to make steel tubing, we would just extrude a uh, square shape um, instead of doing uh, this. But to get the two different sizes this is the way to go so thanks for checking out my video please like please subscribe